uh, se- sexuality in general. Um, I mean, uh, essentially, like, the, the big argument has been, is technology the bad part or is it society? Is it going to stop being bad when we get rid of technology? Are people in an over-sexualized society just going to stop being sexualized because they no longer have a smartphone? Or as you said, are they going to find whatever they have to do to be able to do what they're hoping to achieve, right? Um, And so essentially, I feel like while the social movement might, A, take a lot more work, and it takes a lot more of this grassroots movements of having conversations like these where people can see kind of like the failures of what these cultural movements are. And it takes, you know, things like activism and it takes this ground rights grassroots movement. Well, that's a lot harder. Isn't that going to be the most rewarding probably path? Cause a, it's going to actually solve the root cause of these issues we see as well as, isn't it also going to actually allow us to keep the benefits of technology, accessing education, accessing medicine, um, being able to specialize so people can achieve jobs that are closer to their hopes and goals, things like that. Uh, well, on the first point, here's a very good argument as to why the technology is the problem rather than the degeneracy itself. Uh, I could actually pose this question to Andrew. Uh, Andrew, you're a smoker. I don't know if you've tried quitting smoking, but let's just say you were attempting to quit. If you had a machine that could materialize a cigarette in your hand at the click of a button for absolutely zero dollars, do you think you would ever have the willpower to quit smoking? I think it would significantly decrease my willpower, yes. Right. So in the same way, uh, you know, things like, uh, though that's exactly what pornography is, you know, uh, would you have the desire to, uh, you know, watch pornography if it wasn't totally free, easily accessible and uh, pretty much ubiquitous? I don't think so. I mean, because the technology exists, it is exacerbating the level of degeneracy. Isn't, uh, yeah. isn't OnlyFans a paid service? Well, OnlyFans is a paid service. Pornhub is totally free. Well, I sure. But, but even even though the option exists for the free service, why do so many people still flock to the paid one? Uh, well, now you have a totally different argument about, you know, a, a decline of an addiction to the point where you need, you know, stronger and stronger hits. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if you're getting off on spending the money, that's half of the half of the argument there. Right. Right. Uh, so I'm just I'm just saying to to my to my mind to answer your question and then oppose one back if the argument is essentially hey if you can materialize pornography right in front of your face don't you think that, that would cause addiction issues yes yes i most certainly think that it would cause addiction issues and is causing addiction issues but if you were to split the question and say but even if it's paid for it sure seems like people still flock towards the paid services for pornography that's all i'm saying and i'll kick the the floor back to the debaters uh well, I mean, just a small point to that. You know, if you had to pay five dollars for a Playboy mag every time you wanted to jerk off, I think people would not jerk off nearly as much. 